Let's head to the Weather Center now. Alex is there uh, with the uh, forecast for tonight. We're almost to the weekend as well, so we need uh, some good weather, Alex. Yeah, I think the weather looks pretty good this weekend and pretty good today, too. Most of us have, most of us have stayed dry, but are tracking one very small shower in Blunt County. This thing is likely to fizzle out uh, before it gets to all the towns we put on the storm track here, but we'll put it up. Uh, this would be near Cedar Springs by about 455, Compton by about 457. It might hold together long enough to make to Palmerdale uh, sometime around 515, but again, a decent chance too that this thing fizzles out as it continues to dive south and west. Outside of that, not much activity in the state of Alabama. You do see some showers and storms back off the coast of Georgia, the Carolinas and Florida. This is associated what is with what is likely to become tropical storm Ophelia later on tonight. Right now, potential tropical cyclone 16 is the official uh, moniker for this thing. Wind sustained at 35 miles an hour. National Hurricane Center does forecast this to become a tropical storm tonight. This would likely make landfall somewhere in the vicinity of the Outer Banks over towards Moorhead City, uh, North Carolina as we head into the weekend and be a big rain producer as we uh, head into next week up across the East Coast for us in Alabama, no impacts from this system. Temperatures setting in the 70s and 80s right now across central Alabama. If you've got a football game to get to tonight, the weather looking good for those Thursday night games. Temperatures in the 70s and looking very nice for the Friday night football games across the state too. Temperatures may dip into the 60s uh, before the fourth quarter ends for some of those games. So the weather looking good over the next few days, mainly dry weather in store for us. We'll keep our, our forecast dry on Friday, although not too dissimilar from today, I can't rule out maybe one shower bubbling up in the afternoon. Saturday looks completely dry, but by Sunday we start to bring in at least some chance for some showers and we'll see more hit or miss showers and storms as we head into Monday and into Tuesday. In fact, we'll keep that rain chance going through the middle of next week. After that, that rain chance starts to trend back down a bit, but I do expect at some point between Sunday and Wednesday, most of us see at least one round of rain. So there is some rain in the forecast. Thankfully, Saturday will be dry across the southeast, so I don't see any big issues as far as weather's concerned with the college football games. Of course, the home game at Alabama, it'll be warm but dry. It'll also be warm in College Station as Auburn heads to Texas A&M. Pretty comfortable for the UAB game uh, at Georgia. That's a night game. And then warm and dry in Jacksonville for the Jacksonville State game. So the weekend shaping up pretty good. We do have that rain chance Sunday, but that'll be backloaded into the second half of the day. Your Sunday morning and early afternoon look dry at this point. Tomorrow looking dry and very comfortable. And overall, the weather looking pretty nice through at least Sunday mid-afternoon. After that, moisture returns, and we'll deal with some hit or miss showers and storms as we head through the first half of next week. The good news, no big warm-ups. High temperatures staying in the 80s over the next seven days. Those overnight lows staying in the 60s.